Uh, currently, there is no evidence of transmission of COVID-19 in the United Kingdom, and there is no need to do anything differently in any care setting at present. Your department at the same time, in, on the 25th of February 2020, had published a situation report. That report indicated that as at the 25th of February, fewer than 6,800 people in the UK had in fact been tested. But of those tested, there were 13 confirmed cases. It also indicated that the situation internationally was that China was experiencing widespread infection, causing by that stage some 2,700 deaths. The situation in Italy was rapidly deteriorating and deaths had started and doubled overnight. And of course, the situation in the Diamond Princess was that short of 700 people had become infected. Your department was working on the basis that once the virus leaves China, we're in real trouble. Isn't that right? Um, as we covered earlier, yes. Yes. Why is it then that as at the 25th of February 2020, when the situation internationally was grim and that the virus had arrived domestically, you were telling the care home sector, or at least endorsing the advice, that risks of infection were very unlikely and that there was no need to do anything at the moment? Um, because that was the clinical advice uh, at the time. So um, at this moment, actual infection numbers um, in uh, 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 England, as it was, uh, were believed to be very low indeed. Once the virus arrived in the UK, once the virus arrived, you knew and your department knew that we needed to be acting on the reasonable worst case scenario basis. Isn't that right? Well, at this point, um, well, the, the, Sir Christopher, the numbers... I'm, I'm, I'm quoting your evidence from this morning to you. In, in, in terms, of, so the distinction that I think is important here uh, is between what were our predictions of the future and what was our advice to people to do at that moment uh, in time. So it is completely consistent that there may be, as there were at this point, uh, very small numbers in the UK that could be contained and that our prediction of the, uh, uh, the future, uh, the reasonable worst case scenario of what might happen, might be very high. Those are, I don't see those two things as in contradiction uh, at all. So as of the 24th of January, your department was re receiving advice that if community transmission occurs in the UK, it is most likely that widespread community transmission would follow. Were you aware of that advice at the time? Um, yes, and it's completely consistent uh, with uh, what I've said in the rest of this uh, hearing and uh, with what I've just said. Uh, so the key uh, words in that paragraph are if community transmission yes. uh, occurs. Now, at the point that that guidance uh, was put out, uh, there was not evidence of community transmission occurring. As you say, there were, I think, from your numbers, 13, the 13 cases, cases in the UK. Um, and, um, and from memory, um, uh, they were, at that point, largely imported cases, and we didn't have evidence of community transmission. So I think the guidance is completely in line with what Professor Van Tam uh, has written. There had been fewer than 7,000 tests we had 13 confirmed cases. You knew what had happened internationally. You knew what had happened on the Diamond Princess. Would it not have been safer to operate on the basis that there was at the very least a risk of widespread community transmission starting from around the end of February? I can only repeat, we were acting on the clinical advice that we received at the moment. So the, the advice to those who manage care homes is, do nothing, don't worry any risk it, is very small. And I think um, at that particular moment in time, um, that has proved to be correct. Now, obviously, later uh, in the pandemic, and, and as I'm sure, I'm sure I will be giving evidence on this in the future module, that position changes completely. But at this particular moment in time, I haven't seen anything to suggest that that advice was uh, uh, incorrect or out of line with our scientific advice at that time.